What's up, friends? Welcome to another edition of the Soul Land Music Series. Thanks for joining us. We're going to get right into it, but uh, this is being simulcast at ramdas.org. And you can also watch it on the official Ramdas channels of YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. So welcome to everyone who's on the various platforms. Um, if you do have high quality speakers or good headphones, this would be the time, <coughs> excuse me, to get that set up because this is about music and you know music is uh well the higher the fidelity the more information of the music you're receiving so uh, this is a great chance to do that get your bluetooth hooked up etc headphones are usually always a good idea if you've got them uh, tonight's event is being recorded so it will be available to rewatch on all the platforms after tonight we love it that you're here live it's always kind of special as a way to be able to gather in real time, put our attention on one thing. Um, if you do have the means to support tonight's offering, please consider leaving a donation or purchasing some merchandise. They have Soul Land merchandise. They sent me a nice t-shirt that's on its way. I'm looking forward to it. So they have some really nice designs. And you'll also be automatically entered for the giveaway raffle to win one of the many prizes, including a limited edition 50th anniversary Be Here Now box set from the Llama Foundation. Um, it is the 50th anniversary of Be Here Now, so that's a trip in itself. So thank you for any support if you'd like to join that raffle. And you can find the Soul Land merch shop at ramdas.org slash merch shop. Just make that one word, merch shop. So tonight, it's very exciting. We have two live performances. Uh, Jetpack Brandon is up first. He's a rap artist from Fayetteville, North Carolina. Yeah, it says, creativity is flowing through his music with colorful sounds and witty lyrics that give the listener a smile while streaming. His goal for his music is to make others happy and let them know that they are not alone in this journey called life. His latest album, Neon Burger, has been an assistance to his fans' depression and helping them through the toughest times. Jetpack Brandon's music seamlessly incorporates audio samples from Ram Dass and explores influences from Eastern philosophy to psychedelic culture. So, with that, I'd like to welcome uh, Brandon, Jetpack Brandon, to the scene, and we can dive into his, his live set. Ah, uh, okay, you good? I, all right, okay, good. All right, great, guys. What's up? This is Jet Pat Brandon reporting live from Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, I can still hear the Zoom call a little bit, but uh, <laughs> reporting live from Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, and with me, I have the lovely Maury B. Hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> And uh, we're going to do, we're going to start this off with, uh, first of all, it's just appreciation for the opportunity. Um, yeah. And then also, <laughs> we're live, baby. We live. <laughs> we live. What you want for free? No, I'm <laughs> But look, but, uh. Basically, we're going to start this off with uh, appreciation and gratitude, uh, saying uh, thank you for the opportunity to showcase my music. Um, little people know this, but this is my first ever performance. And for this performance to be on this platform is uh, very, very, very uh, beautiful. It's a very, very great thing. Um, I definitely want to give a special thanks to uh, Ram Das and the Love, Sir, and Remember Foundation. And uh, also uh, Raku Marcus uh, and also Mangala for finding me. She found me. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, and 
You want to say anything, Maury? Oh, I'm just glad to be here. Grateful and glad to be here. Maury's glad to be here. <laughs> Aren't we? Yeah, definitely. That's all right. Let's um, let's start this off with a meditation. Well, I say we'll meditate for hmm, two minutes. We'll do a two minute meditation. What time is it? 806. Let's do a one minute meditation. <laughs> Let's do a one minute meditation and then we'll um, go into this uh, song called Stoop Kid. Um, which Maury features on and she definitely slays her entire verse, which is very beautiful. So, oh, and Teaspoon just walked in. Teaspoon's pretty cool. Teaspoon actually produced that song. So look at that. Look at the alignment of the universe right there. How he just walked in. <laughs> so cool. All right. <laughs> Isn't that crazy, right? That's wild. Yes, but uh, it's produced by Teaspoon. Um, um, and uh, featuring Maury Bead. And the song's called Stoop Kid. So we'll start with a one-minute meditation. All right. All right. So if you guys would like to join, we we'll just close our eyes and watch our breath and watch, well, focus on our breath and watch the thoughts. And if the thoughts get too hectic, just focus back on the breath, the breathing in and out of your nose. And if you have a stopped up nose and in and out of your mouth, all right, we'll start right now. And that, that's a minute. All right, guys. Good to spend that present moment with you. But now we're about to take off. <laughs> Hope you guys are ready. And we'll go ahead and fall into it. Let's go. I wake up, I said I wake up First thing I do is pray up Don't have no time for makeup You wouldn't believe me if I told you the impossible I found a way to run out of lives On Grand Theft Auto, Reggie Twister That's rocket power to fuel this rocket ship If you ain't woke, you don't deserve no rocket, bitch <laughs> And just to let you know I like my love filled with no GMOs all that artificial truth and all that pain got to go Stoop kid afraid to leave a stoop no more I said, I, I, I said I'm jumping Some porches have chairs and others have pumpkins Some porches have hood niggas plotting on something Some porches have people sitting talking about nothing But let me tell you about my porch Let me tell you about my porch Brandon, go When I wake up in the morning my hair looks just like Cousin Skeeter's And I broke up with my girlfriend cause I didn't know how to treat her When these hard times come, I try to figure out how to solve them Some people call it growth, I call it working on my problems Good and bad are opposites, like left to right Came across meditation and I started to see the light Like my ex is a smart girl so she'll be alright And for my hair, I found a barber that could bring me back to life But it seems as soon as everything starts going up one little shift will make everything suck Like word on the street, my ex's new man is rich as fuck And turns out, my barber gave me the fuckboy haircut 
but I'm not a fuckboy. At least I don't think so. I wear my shoes with no socks, now walk around with a stink toe. Trevor told me about sheep wool, but I can't afford the insoles. And last year I went vegan, but I could only afford the pintos. I miss my chicken. I miss my cornbread. And I miss dancing with my mama saying, go ahead. Trying to be a perfect person, though I never met any. So I'd be lying if I said I never looked at DJ Fanny's Fanny. I just learned that I'm a human on God's blue earth. Instead of trying to stop the wave, I learned how to surf. And I learned to love my hair, which feels like turf. And I learned to love my skin, which smells like birth. And I learned to man up for whatever it's worth. And I learned to be patient and put love first. And I learned to appreciate all things that didn't work. So I learned to love my exes, for better or for worse. But no more looking back. A new road's getting paved. Not saying I want a girl, but I'm taking resumes. And it's cool if you smoke weed to get your mind out that cage. I like my girls, like my food. Grass fed and free range. One with earth like an avatar. She a fine blue thing. And she always down to hang like Saddam Hussein. Oh, I'ma buy you a rocket ship. But we'll get to that later. Right now I'm fighting darkness like a gladiator. My name is Brandon and my body's a layer. Where obstacles get smashed like Napoleon's taters. What's worse than a person watching Illuminati videos and now they think they woke? <clears throat> I'll wait. When you're no longer in your mind, that's what I call awake. See, I was there too. That's why I can't relate. But I started thinking clearer when I started to meditate. But I been feeling really crazy and mixed with depression got me feeling really lazy and i been afraid to leave the house which makes it impossible to get my dreams out and i been looking for some help but when you facing judgment it's hard to be yourself i can no longer be afraid instead of saving these girls it's myself i need to save so i, I just Jumped off the porch 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 I just
really, really want to be yourself. Cause I really, really want to be myself. Uh, I got my jet pet jet fuel. Do you want to see them? Like, I'm going to experience all of those places thoroughly before I die. It's 11-19, stop. I got the power. Jetpack Brandon is the illest. Jetpack Brandon is the illest. That nigga is the illest, dude. Stroke my ego. I'm a fan. <laughs> so, guys, this is Jetpack Brandon reporting live from a secret location. <laughs> That's my alien hands. <laughs> But yeah, we're about to do some songs, and uh, it's gonna be dope as hell. Sweet rum, J rum, my thoughts get the best of me, but my thoughts won't beat me, cause I got the recipe. Alright, 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 guys. What's up? What's up? I hope you guys are ready for this uh, jetpack experience, definitely. Uh, once again, big shout out to the Love Serve Remember Foundation. Big shout out to Mangla, big shout out to Ragu Marcus, big shout out to Ram Das. And Nin Corelli, bye bye. All right. Um, this next song, well, that previous song, once again, was uh, Stoop Kid and uh, featuring Maury B, uh, produced by Teaspoon. And there's actually a music video. If you type in Jetpack Brandon, Stoop Kid. On YouTube, you'll see the music video. I don't think I'm going to drink this water. Having too much fun talking. Uh, so, yeah, you'll see that video and uh, just definitely check it out. And the video was shot by Timmy Charlie. So, shout out to Timmy. All right, guys. Um, this next song was written off of <clears throat> uh, Nostalgia. Nostalgia. The name of this song is called Overhead Projector. And we can go ahead and run into that one. Hi, I'm selling candy. Would you like to buy some? Well, actually, this one's on me. I just want you to try some, because I think you're witty sweet. Had to say it like Tyson. We could chill after soccer practice. That shit is like five something. Or I could just skip it, you know, come up with a lie or something. Coach really wouldn't like that, but it's not like he's going to die or something. My mom really wouldn't mind that since she thinks I break my fibula. But you, you look like Nivea. I bet you're from a nebula. You make my heart go boom, boom, you fucking supernova girl. We should go to a test. Talking, talking till it's over, girl. If you have a man, you should tell him you found a lover, girl. Call him up right now and tell him that it's over, girl. Oh, you're single. I'm sorry, I went overboard. But if you ever went overboard, I would so throw you a floaty and motivate you to swim straight towards my little boaty, where my sister makes the best Kool-Aid and has a dog named Cody. So you should come through and get a red mustache, sit down with a Bichani lap. Whatever you do, don't make him mad, cause he will bite your ankles, baby. You might leave some bite marks, but so come here, let me rub on you. Let me put this love on you. Them other guys are stupid, but baby, I am Cupid. I always have my arrow just didn't know where to shoot it now i'm aiming it at you so don't you move because i won't hesitate the pool like them boys in blue ooh, ooh. all right all right all right all right all right yes sir that song was called overhead projector um uh, hope you guys like it and liked it, it liked it, it. I said that on purpose, by the way. Liked it, it, it. I don't know how to spell it yet, but when I do, I'm gonna create a new word. All right, guys. Are you guys feeling in there? Everybody feeling good? Maury, how are you? Jess, how you doing? We got Jess on the cameras. Jess is on the camera. I wish I could turn one around and put it on her. Jason, how you doing, man? Just checking my design. All right. Um, and also, guys, uh, very, 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 very important. We are reporting live from Charlotte, North Carolina at Grindhouse Studios. Owned by the beautiful Jason Jet, a.k.a. Jason Jet Plane. All right, guys. <laughs> I mean, that used to be a song. Wait, 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 we're going to go into this. All right. So uh, 
And this next song um, is inspired by psychedelics. Um, mm, I'm, I'm pretty sure some people out there that are watching right now have some uh, experience with that thing. Um, so this song is called DMT. Basically uh, about a psychedelic experience that expands consciousness and um, lets you know what home feels like. If you get what I mean. I can explain it better in a song than I can talking about it. I'm sorry. So we can go ahead and run into this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I swear I'm not a junkie. Cause when I'm stressed, prescription pills do nothing for me. I fall apart sometimes, I swear I feel like Humpty Dumpty, for real though On a journey we'll go This pipe requires skill though I grab a torch and then I light it If it's a bad trip, then the worst thing you can do is fight it So just accept it and respect it, then it's easy peasy My setting setting is a blanket and Shanice Weezy I need a me seek from Rick and Morty to grant my wishes I burn my sage, then close my door It's no one's business, sneaking and geeking on weekends, tweaking my fixer rubber. This major tom to that ground control. Tell my wife I love her. High as a motherfucker, it put me in a zone. I take one, two, three hits, then I'm gone. Jetpack, jetpack, jetpack. Earth, I see when I get back. You can't reach my phone. Leave a message at the tone. Brandon Floyd is going home. When I smoke this DMT, I let go of my pain. When I blast, I'm letting go of you and me. My ego death is straight in my path. I'm masking the entities. Can you fulfill the needs that I have? I want to feel the love in me. So 15 minutes of heaven. Okay, now, now I see why E.T. went home. I said, now, now I see why E.T. went home. I said, nah, nah, I see why E.T. went home. I said, nah, nah, I see why E.T. went home. Cause when at home is real and you can feel the thrills, promise they yield the chills. Now you see colors of teal, mountains of melting meals, hills, kaleidoscopes. The entities lend a helping hand when I'm out of hope. Them real good people, bro. My vision blurry as I inhale, it shoot right through me. Leaving my body feel like somebody did something to me. I'm feeling 8-bit just like the Matrix, good googly moogly. Now I'm far out feeling groovy, feeling real perfect, ooh wee. I blast right past the movies, machine elves try to pull me. I'm trying not to lose me, I'm trying to find a new me. Some say don't do it cause it make the pain worse. But the only part that hurts is when you come back to earth. When I smoke this DMT, I let go. Go of my pain when I blast. I'm letting go of you and me. My ego death is straight in my path. I'm asking the entities, can you fulfill the needs that I have? I want to feel the love in me. So 15 minutes of heaven, I ask. Sersky. Yeah, Sersky. You can go ahead and pause that. Or stop that. There we go. All right, guys. That was my song. DMT is getting unraveled. Unraveled. New word. Another new word. That was my song. DMT. <clears throat> um. I don't know. Where do I start with that? Psychedelics. Helping, um, I think psychedelics came in my life at a time where I was the most curious about what the fuck. And also, uh, when I um, was probably at one of my, the peaks of my uh, spiritual journey as well. Um, 
my heart and my mind was definitely pointed towards God when psychedelics came into my life. And then also they are as well pointed towards God at this point ever since then. Um, and I swear I'm not a junkie because when I'm stressed prescription pills do nothing for me. I fall apart sometimes, I swear I feel like Humpty Dumpty, for real though. On a journey we'll go, this pipe requires skill though. I grab a torch and then I light it. If it's a bad trip, then the worst thing you can do is fight it. So just accept it and respect it, then it's easy peasy. My set and setting is a blanket in Shanice Weezy. I need a me seek from Rick and Morty to grant my wishes. I burn my sage, then close my door. It's no one's business. Sneaking and geeking on weekends, tweaking my fixer upper. This major tom to that ground control. Tell my wife I love her. High as a motherfucker. It put me in the zone. I take one, two, three hits, then I'm gone. Jetpack, jetpack, jetpack. Earth, I see you when I get back. You can't reach my phone. Leave a message at the tone. Brandon Floyd is going home. Yes, sir. I love that song. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, definitely. Um, so this, um, <clears throat> this here next song is called Lower Frequencies. Um, this song is basically my Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, this song is about negative thoughts. This song is about mental health. This song is about um, self-doubt. But at the same time, it's about sitting with it and listening to it. This song is very, 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 very therapeutic for me. And uh, so basically I just took every negative thought that I had about myself and made a song of the thoughts speaking. This is definitely, like I said, my Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, this is my, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty deep song. And this song is going to play into something so beautiful. Because every time you go into anything that's dark, you're only going into the dark to go back to light. The one creates the two in order for the two to see himself. So, not yet. <laughs> not yet. But that is definitely it. And we're about to take off. We can go ahead. Got it. So you move, so you moved to Charlotte and you slept in your car and you're proud of yourself cause you came so far but your life's a wreck and you live check to check and don't interrupt me I'm not finished yet you dropped an album but you're still not bigger yet you start up and you burn out just like cigarettes and your mom's on pills as you soon will Depression's my friend, we like to chill. Alexander McQueen, more like JC Penney's. Whoa, look at his arms, he's way too skinny. You'll never get a girl. Boy, don't nobody want you. Buy her a rocket ship, you can't afford YouTube. <laughs> And that shit's free I'll tell you Brandon Ain't nobody fucking with me I'm in the food that you eat And I'm with you while you sleep I am your negative thoughts Your lower frequencies Dropped out of school 
And your ex will never want you Cause you're just not cool You're running low on confidence I'm just stating the obvious You don't know what your hobby is And your life is the sloppiest You wouldn't know love if it was in front of your face And all you want is fame And you're still running the race You're stupid and black And money you lack Oh, you wanna save the world? <laughs> Good luck with that! You have a better chance to try to build a bond with your father. Yo, we got him too, so don't even bother. Try to make an investment, and in debt you'll find. Oh, you didn't know? Poverty's a friend of mine. Delusional, you don't even know your dreams from reality. You're confused, boy, you're questioning your sexuality. My suicidal is vital, sometimes you can't even bear. And your dog suffers from yeast. Ugh, I can smell it from here. I'm doing what I'm doing. I do what I do. What else is there to do? I am not driving through Iowa in order to get to California, although I am headed towards California. When I am in Iowa, I am in Iowa. And when I'm in California, I'm in California. When I'm here, I'm here. And it's, it's always right, right here. here. It's, it's always, always right here. here. I learned that fear was just death inside the head So if I pass away, just listen to what I said At my funeral, don't cry, tell some jokes instead So I can sit up in my casket like I'm dead Oh man, another day up in the simulation Getting my stimulation, silent meditation That be my medication, you should try it out though I know you're going through some shit, but you can work it out, bro Sri Ram, J Ram, that's where the center holds me Right place, time, and mindset, that's what a yogi told me them demons all around me, but them demons cannot hold me Cause I turn around and then I fade away Kobe, a Ramadan with Ram Dass up in my past life And when the fast was over, he asked Brandon, could you pass the rice? He took me on a journey, showed me everything he sacrificed And me and Maharaji told ghost stories for flashlights Man, it made the wind scared, man, you should have been there Can tell me to live in the now, cause shit, I've been here From DMT to BET in just two weeks I take my mama off of EBT, it's just too eat. It's, a blessing. it's all here, here, and now. You just gotta be here now. Yeah. Uh, it's all here, here, and now. You just gotta be here now. Yeah. Uh, it's all here, here, and now. You just gotta be here now. Yeah. Uh, it's just here, here, and now. You just gotta be here now. Yeah. Yes, uh. Yes, sir. Alrighty, man. <laughs> Oh, that made me happy. <laughs> that song made me so happy. All right. Um, so that was definitely that first portion was lower frequencies. Uh, like I said, it was about bad thoughts, negative thoughts. Or uh, you can, some people call it the devil or some people call it hell. Uh, and some people just call it negative thoughts. And um, so that basically was that. And I uh, drifted into heaven with that next song that had just played which is called be here now featuring mc yogi um and that is going to be our last song and we're gonna uh go ahead and start that up from the top and play that song um and definitely this person that you hear speaking in the beginning of that sample is no other than the beautiful ram das um i actually got approval to use that sample uh, I got the email to approve. The, I got an email that said, yes, you can use that sample. Um, I got that email the day Ram Dass passed away, actually, is when it landed into uh, my uh, inbox. And uh, very, uh, you know, it, 
you know anything about Ron Das, one thing he always talked about is dying. So <laughs> that was a very, very beautiful moment that I, uh, when I received that email for this song. So let's go ahead and uh, before I start crying, let's go ahead and start that up. Tomorrow's Halloween and nah, uh -uh. this says maybe. That's not it. The marker that you put? Mm-hmm. People say, well, what are you doing? I say, I'm doing what I'm doing. I do what I do. What else is there to do? I am not driving through Iowa in order to get to California, although I am headed towards California. When I am in Iowa, I am in Iowa. And when I'm in California, I'm in California. When I'm here, I'm here. And it's, it's always, always right, right here. here. It's, it's always, always right here. here. <laughs> I learned that fear was just death inside the head. So if I pass away, just listen to what I said At the funeral, don't cry, tell some jokes instead So I can sit up in my casket like I'm dead Oh man, another day up in the simulation Getting my stimulation, silent meditation That be my medication, you should try it out though I know you're going through some shit, but you can work it out, bro Sri Ram, J Ram, that's where the center holds me Right place, time, and mindset, that's what a yogi told me Them demons all around me, but them demons cannot hold me Cause I turn around and then I fade away Kobe I Ramadan with Ram Dass up in my past life And when the fast is over he asked Brandon could you pass the rice Took me on a journey, showed me everything he sacrificed And me and my Haraji told ghost stories with flashlights Man it made the wind scared, man you should have been there Can tell me to live in the now, cause shit I've been here From DMT to BET in just two weeks I take my mama off of EBT, it's just two eat Z It's a blessing It's all here, here and now you just gotta be here now, yeah, uh It's all here, here and now You just gotta be here now, yeah, uh It's all here, here and now You just gotta be here now, yeah, uh It's just here, here and now You just gotta be here now MC Yogi, yeah Be here now Breathe here now, open the mind, crack the clouds so I can see, see clear, clear now. now. Sound pound, shake the ground, these are beats here, here now. now. Northbound, southbound, glad just to be, be here, here now. now. Grace is evident, intelligent like elephants. elephants. The presence is immense, intense, divine elegance. Bliss, saturating these five elements. elements. Sit and draw the senses in so, so that I, I can relish it. Pure grade, so there's no need to embellish it. In the present mm -hmm. moment, all these it's arguments we settle it. it. Grace, let it in. Holy company with Brandon. I call this divine fellowship. I call it a divine fellowship. It is divine. It is. Yeah. God bless every child living in the wild. May you be guided back safely into your own house. Be here now. Just glad to be here now. Clear the clouds in my mind. So I can see clear now. Be here now. Be here now. Deep breath. All right, that's good. All right, guys. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, that was so fun. My first ever performance uh, on this platform. That was great. I loved it. All right, that was so much fun. Goodness gracious. All right, um, and that last song was called Be Here Now. Um, once again, we're at Grindhouse Studios. Uh, my name is Jetpack Brandon. That last song that you just heard was called Be Here Now, featuring MC Yogi and also Ram Das. I uh, hope you guys enjoy and Jepek. Thank you, Jetpack Brandon. That was awesome. We're going to 
bring him to the stage here. If you guys have any questions, put them in the comments on your respective platforms, and uh, the team here will send them our way, and we can get them over to Mr. Jetpack. <laughs> and can you hear me, brother? Yes. First off, how do I call you? Pack, Jet, or Brandon, or just Jetpack Brandon? Uh, Jetpack Brandon, or Brandon, or Jetpack. I love it. I love it. I will use all three. Thank you, Jetpack Brandon. That was um, awesome. Hold on, I'm getting like bring him feedback. The- okay, there we go. Uh, thank you for that, man. That was that was awesome. You had quite the little. I mean, shout out to your uh, camera crew. That was cool. <laughs> That's just she's she's yeah, she's she she's she's wonderful. She was. It looked pro. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Um, well, while we're waiting for some questions to come in, I was just kind of curious. I'm sure other people are wondering, like, when and how your connection to Ramdas started. Um. So it started. Um, I was actually in the midst of a uh, spiritual path. I was on my spiritual path and basically uh, I joined this Buddhist group where we actually had a uh, book club and we were supposed to drink, uh, read, I think, Mindfulness by Joseph Goldstein. Mm-hmm. And um, for some reason, the book just wasn't pulling me in. Then I came across Ron Doss online and then I went and bought Be Here Now and that thing like sucked me in i was just like it was almost like you were like i was playing a video game almost you know like i was yeah. like it, that's how exciting it was for me um this was probably about maybe four years ago maybe three years ago maybe four yeah, i'm 31 i don't know when this was uh yeah i would say i was 27 28 years old when i came so, across so buddhism was kind of like the gateway in the ramdas um, no, I wouldn't say that. Um, the gateway was honestly just, honestly, I don't want to sound cliche, but it was really life itself. Um, honestly, um, I ended up meeting a few people like, uh, Noah Levine, uh, yeah. sorry, Noah Levine um, and, uh, not knowing that. And I met him like at the, before I knew who or what a Ram Dass was, you know, before I knew what server of God was, uh, <clears throat> I uh, ran into uh, Noah Levine at Wonderlust, uh, that big festival, but I didn't know yeah. the festival was going to be out there. And um, yeah. and I didn't even know that Noah's dad was uh, like a uh, business partner with um, Ram Dass, you know, so at that time. So um, it was it, it, it was what got me on a spiritual journey was more of uh, the book, uh, The Four Agreements. And um, that's basically what started it off uh, or made me aware that I was on the spiritual journey because you're already always on it as soon as you're born, right? The four agreements is kind of what sparked you? Yeah, the four agreements, every single line in there sounded like it was like it was glowing in gold. Every line, every every Mm -hmm. line, every word was glowing in gold. It was just it was very, very, uh, very uh, deep moment for me. Definitely. Yeah, isn't that cool? Like the idea of being impeccable with your word, and then you know, being an MC, it's like kind of a way to like take it even further because the word in general, like the word in your mind, the word you put out into the world, and the word you put in their art, when it's like very like lyric driven work, mm. it's powerful. It's like casting a spell. It's the, yeah, it's the truth. Um, actually, like I, I was, I was, I've been rapping for about ten years, and um, before I was just rapping like everybody else, you know, rapping about girls, rapping money, about, <laughs> yeah, rapping about money, rapping about uh, this lifestyle that you want, and all this other stuff, uh, fast cars and fast girls and all this stuff. And um, when I came across the four agreements, after I was done with it, I was like, all right, well. I'm going to go ahead and start rapping again. And then I was like, wait a minute, if I'm rapping, I just read this and everything is so true and I'm going to yeah. be living my life like this, then I, I, I need to like, I need to be speaking the truth in my songs, you know? Mm-hmm. So I uh, just started being myself, really just started being myself. Yeah. Well, man, that's everything. I mean, good on you for having the bravery to do that because um, it's hard to trust like what your own voice is and who you are and then to step out there and put it out there. Um, I want to get into some of these questions. We have uh, Larnell Cross. 
is asking you who your rap influences are. Ah, man. Definitely. Give us give us three to five. Three to five, Kanye West. Yeah. Old and new. <laughs> I love him unconditionally. Um, all the way. Um You have to love Kanye unconditionally to love Kanye. You know? Yes, definitely. <laughs> I, I mean I, I've I love Kanye. Uh, yeah, I love Kanye. I take up for Kanye. <laughs> uh um definitely J. Cole. Uh, since I'm from Fayetteville and he's from, that's not the only reason, but he's also just a dope ass artist. So mm -hmm. J Cole as well. Uh, Lupe Fiasco um, is definitely one as well. Um, any old school guys? You any into? old school guys as far as rapping Ooh, goes? Um, I like the simplicity of like Biz Marquee and the effortlessness of it, of Biz Marquee. Um, um, you ever listen, that, to, think, you ever oh, listen cool. to Master Ace? No, no. You might like that. It's got some similar vibes. He's a New York guy, but back in the day. Really? I'm going to look that up. Is that like M-A-S-T-A? I'm or pretty sure it's Master versus Master, but yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Ace. Okay. All right. I remember that. And I, I think, honestly, like other people that would honestly, like who influenced me is like, probably not rappers, like singers, like Frank Ocean and... Um, I don't, Chance, honestly, I mean, he's a rapper, but, you know, definitely, uh, well, his first album, Acid Rap, that's mm -hmm. what got me. That's what, like, took me in. So, yeah. And the song, MC Yogi is an artist that I did a collaboration with in 2016, Ritual Mystical. So he's yeah. a brother I know. Uh, that's cool. How'd you guys link up? I didn't know he, he, he had, would he feature on that song? Oh yeah. So, uh, by the way, I love that song that you have. Um, uh, that song that you guys have, uh, breathe deep, breathe deep. Yeah. Yeah. Deep breath. Inhale. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. I love that song. Oh my God. The entire album is amazing. But, um, um, so I came across, uh, MC Yogi same way I came across Ron Dawes and Noah Levine or Noah Levine. I keep saying Levine. Wanderlust. <laughs> yeah, at Wonderless. I went up to his booth and everything like that, and I seen he had a song with, uh, he had a CD, and I looked at his CD, and I turned it over, and I seen he had a song with Krishna Das. And uh, by that time, I didn't know, I still didn't know who, who Ram Das was. So um, I, uh, I, but I knew who Krishna Das was from a, um, what do you call it, like when you Shazam something. I was watching a Netflix documentary, and I Shazammed it. I wouldn't say most people know Krishna Das from Shazam, but I think that's very cool. That's oh like, yeah, <laughs> like you know, you know Christian Doss from Shazam. Right, yeah. <laughs> I Shazammed him on the phone. I was like, "Hey, who, what song is this?" I was watching um a documentary on 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 um Netflix, and they played a song, and I was like, "Oh, Yo. cool." So when I picked up uh MCO CD and I seen featuring Christian Doss, I was like, "Whoa," you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's cool because it sounds like um the way you're introduced to Ram Doss was through music. And for a, this whole series is sort of inspired by musicians working with Ram Dass's words. Wow, you just transported to a new environment. Oh, yeah, that's just. Is this your doppelganger? <laughs> I don't know happened. <laughs> it's like, you literally <laughs> just like went to a new room instantaneously. Yeah, Zoom trips, man. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get into a couple more of these questions coming in. Um, how did you come up with your dreamy sound? I feel like I'm in a dream listening to your songs. Is that something that now I'm adding in? Is that something that developed over time, or is you, have you always been in the clouds and airy vibes? Um, I've always been in the clouds since I was like four years old. You know, uh, <laughs> since I was like four or five years old. Honestly, I just always. Uh, I three, remember I would be three and younger. You were just like pretty heavy, dude. And then four, yeah, I mean, I was just, where you just blossomed. I think they just call it what do they call it? What is the the the, the United States calls it like ADHD or something like that? I don't know. <laughs> but I I remember um I remember a short story but cool story. I remember being in like fifth grade and they were like teaching us long division and they had the bit numbers with the bracket going up. And soon as she started, soon as the teacher started teaching us that. All the numbers that was lined up behind the long division bracket 
the bracket just turned into a diving board and everybody, like all the numbers were just in line. In my head, I was like taking a five, I'll put the five on the bracket and it would like start jumping up and down on the diving board and jump off into the chalkboard. Like that was like, so I've always been in this dreamy, creative imagination space. Uh, I think music has just been more of the outlet you know, music, uh, the way I can express it. Music has been the way I've been able to express it. So, um, yeah, I just always, I don't know. It's just uh, God, I guess. God is how I came up with it, you know. Um, yeah, and it, how long have you been doing, like, do you produce and the beats or do you work with other people? How long has this been going on? Ah uh, man, so I've been I I produce. Uh, I also sometimes I work with other people. I've been uh, but I've been recording music since the uh, I don't know uh, since for eleven years, eleven years. Oh wait, since two thousand and nine. I've been recording music since two thousand and nine. So Sweet. yeah, so um, it's uh, yeah, it's been. I'm sorry, I don't take track of time too much. Like, as far yeah, as I'm bad with time too. <laughs> um, you've been doing it a while. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and wh why jetpack? What's uh, give us a little explanation? Ah uh, man, jetpack. Uh, first of all, lyrics. Uh, the way I can take off and I'll just go. Uh, jetpack. Like the way I rap. It's the only thing that really I can really compare to how my mind works. Um, and also psychedelics. Uh, jetpack. Take off. Uh, yeah. Tell me, tell me about like psychedelics in where you grew up, and was that something you felt like an outlier, or is that a scene there that you were a part of, or you feel? Uh, no, not a scene at all. The scene I grew up in Fayetteville, uh, so if any psychedelics are uh, taking part there, is going to be marijuana, and I am not a uh, marijuana smoker, you know. Um, and I'm also not a like a very, very, very big advocate on like, I'm not going to say not an advocate, but I'm not like a spokesperson for psychedelics either. I've probably only done psychedelics maybe four or five times, you know, big trips, but four or five times in my life. Um, but psychedelics came through as soon as they came to me as soon as I came across uh, Ram Dass and I started reading Be Here Now. I started reading Be Here Now, and as soon as I got done with the white pages of Be Here Now, right before the brown pages, that's when psychedelics just started to flow in through people I was meeting. And not saying that I was doing it with people that I was meeting, but just the talks. When I would go out, other people started talking about it and started telling me their experiences and things of that nature. And then that's when it just happened to just come, you know? No, you, yeah. I didn't go out searching for it. I didn't, like, it was just, you know... I thought you were saying like between the white pages and the brown pages, psychedelics literally flowed out like a tab of acid came out of the oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like there it is. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if 50 years ago, like when that book first came out, like, you know, it was like everyone knew like page like 64, you know, the corner of the book, you just peeled it off and it was a tab of acid. Peeled it off the drop, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just unplug. Yeah, that would be oh man, that'd be great. That'd be great if you and then you only knew what page it was on if you were already tripping. And then you're like, and then yeah, you had to have the secret oh, message. Yeah, yeah exactly. right. Otherwise, you're eating an entire book and just waiting. Yeah, I know, right? Can happen. Reality, yeah, reality. That's what would be happening. <laughs> <laughs> if you have to remember your zip code, you got to remember your zip code, man. You just can't be going around <laughs> books thinking that it's acid, right? That's what Ron Doss says. Remember your zip code. <laughs> Well, let's let's do another question here. Um, someone's asking, how do you want to present your values and your message in hip hop in hip hop in relation to the current hip hop culture? You were kind of talking that before how you shifted gears a bit personally. I mean, do you think much about uh, hip hop as a larger culture or medium, or do you feel like it's too diverse now to care? Or uh, where no, you at? I don't feel like it's diverse at all. I have this conversation all the time with my with my friend Shanice. That's in there. Like we like all the time. I'm like, it's it's not diverse at all. Um, and um, I, I mean, I honestly I feel that my my place in hip hop is uh to continue to uh just be myself. Um, no matter um how big I get, just continue to be myself. And I think honestly, uh, the culture of hip hop 
will um definitely uh can i curse i yeah you can cuss we can cuss. okay cuss not cursing, cursing, cuss. cursing but i can cuss i think the entire hip-hop would definitely fuck with me just off of me being myself that's what i wanted to say um mm. and i don't have to uh do the things that they do i don't have to talk about killing people i don't have to talk about selling drugs i don't have to talk about um having sex with somebody else's girlfriend and being proud of it because i don't do it you know and i can just be myself and um i think hip-hop can definitely uh use some more peace uh we definitely have peace and had peace before in hip-hop but there's more preachy peace you know i'm not preaching i'm not out here preaching to people in my raps i'm not you Mm -hmm. know I'm not, you gotta sit down, then you gotta meditate, and that's the medicate, and then and then and then you elevate. I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm just being myself. And then in little pockets and here and there, you'll hear little glimpses of God. You'll hear glimpses of the truth, you know. Um, so that's all, that's all, that's all I can really say about that as far as my role, because it's too much of predicting the future, of trying to predict the future. Mm going into assumption of that yeah at the end of the day it feels like you're really just emanating your own truth which is very what i get from you is very joyful and it's playful and uh if you know if a lot of your contemporaries in the in hip-hop i'm sure you feel like an outlier i'm sure a -hmm. bit in that way but it's like you got to do what you do you know what i mean and if like if you've seen that own light for yourself, it's like it wouldn't make any sense for you. There's no way you could, you know, put forth something different. Otherwise, it would just be like pandering schlock, you know, just be like generic. Okay, I'm just trying to fit in. Uh, right. So it's great to see like a bright light and you're just doing exactly what you want to do because it's who you are. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I hope that inspires other people to uh, just be free and for them to be who they are because um, it's a lot of people out here in this world that don't really relate to uh, the music that the popular music that is out, but they're only listening to it over and over because it's the popular music that's played over and over. Yeah. They don't really connect with that. And it's, I think it's very, very important that human beings <clears throat> everywhere around the world understand that uh, music is a theme song to your life. So uh choose wisely and just and just and um that mind diet is very very important so um it's the theme song to your life so choose wisely and uh and uh follow your heart <laughs> dig it man and where can people find you and your music jetpack brandon dot, i was about to say dot com <laughs> you can find me at uh instagram at jetpack brandon twitter at jetpack brandon facebook at jetpack brandon everything at jetpack brandon you can find my music on uh every streaming platform my album neon burger and you just type in jetpack brandon neon burger and i will pop up and i will uh play you some beautiful music coming through your bluetooth speaker or your or your phone speakers or your headphones or whatever you choose to listen through or your computer speakers however um yeah jetpack brandon on all streaming services everything even youtube jetpack brandon even youtube even you can YouTube. afford it now yeah. <laughs> you listen <laughs> i like the cane dance that was my favorite the cane dance I'm oh yeah the cane dance. i'm gonna use that for sure um Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing your talents and your gifts and uh, really had a good time and it's great to to meet you. We're going to take a five minute break here and then welcome Londrell onto the scene all the way from London. So uh, peace and love. Thanks again. Take a little fire. Thanks. Rum, rum, rum. Love, love, love. Thanks, man. Bye, guys. Jetpack.